All right, everybody. Uh, we're back. We take a look at your code, uh, and congratulations! Like uh, uh, an amazing uh, achievement, I think today. I think you guys did a great job. Um, uh, you guys did a great job uploading your code as well, and, and I know it's really tight uh, time period to get that done. Uh, but we were able to take a look at what you guys did. I think we're we're really excited right now to see um, what you've actually done with your demos. We like to do that, I think, in a, in a, as a form of respect. Um, we say you need to upload this code and all that, but it's like if no one's going to look at it, or technically no one's going to look at it, who cares? Um, we really actually do want to look at it. I want to know when you're giving your demo what your code did or didn't do and uh, how close you were. Like, I want to know how close you were. I want to see that for you guys. Um, so, uh, so what we're going to do now, um, if you don't know the next, what the next hour is going to look like, uh, we're going to give you guys all probably like on the order of five minutes to demo. Uh, we, want you to, we want you to show us and show the jury here uh, what you did today. Uh, and I want you to sell us because uh, you need to convince uh, for two prizes, the judge and the jury prize, that your team is, uh, did the best uh, hack today. Uh, the judge prize is going to be determined by uh, Ali, who is our sewing mentor today. Thank you so much, Ali. Uh, and Blaine. <laughs> and myself. And if you have to pay attention, you are the jury. Uh, uh, yeah, and then uh, you guys are going to deliberate. We're going to go away and deliberate. It's at 15 minutes after that. And we're going to come back here and award our two prizes, okay? And again, our prizes today for you guys are going to be uh, Nexus devices, Shapeways credit, a couple hundred bucks of Shapeways credit for uh, winning teams, and um, also Pebble devices. So I'm really excited for you guys to get that stuff. All right, we're team eight, and oh, I guess did we, we come up with our name? Jelly friends. Je oh, jelly friends. Jelly we are friends. team jelly friends. <laughs> also team eight and jelly yeah, friends. And jelly friends. And what we have here is a necklace and earrings that are designed for uh, communication. So one of the things that we kind of talked about when we were playing around with this was how you can like send and receive information in different ways using this shadow board. And so what we come came up with was uh, this necklace. That hooks into the, the heart bondage part communication. <laughs> uh, heart bondage part communication. <laughs> and basically, what it does is, is it hooks into uh, the Bluetooth, which goes in with the phone, and you can send a message through the phone, and then the the shadow board uh, interprets it into Morse code, and then sends that out <laughs> through the the earrings in Morse code. So what you could use it for is is communicating with someone else who happens to read Morse code. <laughs> 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 Or, or uh, even better is you could communicate a message that you maybe don't want the other people to understand, but you know you're sending it anyway. Uh, so, for instance, you could have mean things about your boss when you're at work. Uh, um, you could say mean things about the people you're, you're with at a party. Uh, whatever you want to say, uh, you just send it through your phone, and then it comes out. Through. That was, uh, what did you say? That was Hack PHX. Oh, Hack PHX. Did, did you guys say it already? Yeah. yeah I'll, I'll, try to, <laughs> I'll try to do it again. Yeah, sure. All, all the sorry. girls seem to favor using it to have your friend rescue you from scary men. <laughs> <laughs> was was were the lights actually able to show up yeah. on the camera? Yeah. 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 Everyone see it? Yeah. And we we made it out of a laser cutter material and fiber optic lights. I stole out of a Christmas tree I threw away this year, so <laughs> they're Christmas tree lights. <laughs> and. What modules did you use? Did you say that? Uh, no, we had we had the Bluetooth module in there. We had the um, the breakout board, the battery, and obviously the the shadow. And actually, and in these boxes here, yeah, they're hidden in the necklace. Yeah, it's uh, just part of the the way it looks. Anything else you guys want to add? No. Yeah. Uh, oh, a lot of times, cell phone networks go down at large events, but you want to still talk mean things about the person next to you. <laughs> I like that it's only for negative purposes. <laughs> it rejects any other sentiment. Yeah. Uh, I think oh, yeah, you have a question? All right, the question is, what is the rescue message you would Morse code to your girlfriend? SOS. No, no, everybody can read that one. <laughs> All right, we've got another question. Oh, sorry, sorry. The question was, is there any chance of decoder jewelry? And we, we were working on that, uh, but we actually didn't start this project until 1 o'clock today, because our original project just failed miserably. You know? So we started this at 1 o'clock, we got it up and running, and the next step was to actually build something to decode it, and um, we were working with the, the uh, what are they called? The light, photoresistors. 
to, to be able to, to read off of this and then you could have a partner who could then read the Morse code from their phone maybe as opposed to just knowing it. All right, thanks All so right. much. Uh, my name's Chet, we're Team 4, uh, this is Doug, and uh, Joe's going to be doing some modeling for me with what we work on. Also, Todd was on our team, uh, he's filming us right now. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, this is our uh, Google Glass killer, uh, or uh, we didn't really pick a name, but Joe and I got to calling it the head unit. Uh, but it, it's on more than just his head, uh, Joe, if you could uh, read, uh, lift your left hand too. Uh, it also has his hand unit too. Um, what, what you can't see is Joe can see exactly how far his hand is from whatever it's pointing at. There's, there's a screen. That's 16 feet, 5 inches. <laughs> Inside this box on, on Joe's head is a, a screen, but it's not here, it's actually in the back. It reflects off a few mirrors. Uh, we had problems with the screen being so close to your eye that you couldn't focus on it, but we could add some distance if we kind of bounced around his head a few times. Um, uh, so besides besides just distance, uh, it it displays it displays some other things. Uh, Joe, could you elaborate about what, what you can see on your on your screen? Sure. Give so like... as I'm moving my head around, I keep seeing and adjusting power levels. Um, you may notice that the lights on the side of this are kind of bouncing around. Now so the other a little bit more. There, there you go. go. There you go. All right. So what that's showing is the amount of power that I'm generating by moving around. Um, in in power units, of course. Uh, and at some point, when I cross nine thousand, when I'm over nine thousand, uh, these will all actually turn red. Turn red. <laughs> Yeah, there we go. <laughs> uh, so, so besides the power level uh, meter, we added a few uh, other features. Um, so it has, um, first of all, has uh, uh, an accelerometer inside uh, that, that calculates all of Joe's powerful movements. <laughs> it also, uh, Joe, if you could turn around, in, uh, all the way around. Uh, thank you. Uh, it's got a bunch of uh, audio jacks in the back. And those connect directly to the Arduino pin, so if you ever want to add some external device <laughs> that can just read or push or do anything with data, check it's, out it's good there. The camera. Yeah. That's good. Nice. Good. Good. Yeah. Um, it's also um, it's all, all, it's all, so it's perfectly around his head. Uh, it's very, it's very, it has a very comfortable blue foam. That, that <laughs> uh, we've also found that our, our head unit is completely impervious to racquetballs. <laughs> um, oh, we also have a. You might notice this, this red LED right in the front. Uh, that responds um, depending on on the, the information from the the distance sensor. I I don't know the exact specifications either. Do you remember exactly? About. I think when you're within five inches, it'll set off the the light, letting you know that something's too close. <laughs> <laughs> what happens then? Three feet. It, three feet. It's three feet. You don't want to know what happens next. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it for the camouflage, Jess. You want to explain that bit? Oh yeah, the camouflage. So yeah. <laughs> you know, a, a box can be a little bit, you know, in contrast to someone's face. But we found that um, we added the, this eye and nose in the front, right there. Um, it deceives 80% of all the people we show it to. <laughs> they, don't, they don't even know he's wearing it. <laughs> Are there any questions? Can we see inside? Uh, yeah, sure, do you want um, It's pretty difficult to show off unless you're willing to wear it. I'm willing to wear it. I can hold it up next to the camera. Yeah. Wait, here. There's a screen all the way over here. That's the one. Oh, power level. Power level. That's what you see through the mirror. The question is whether it would be difficult to drive with our piece of equipment. It's, uh, it's pretty immersive. I don't think that you really want to be operating heavy equipment. I mean, you're immersed in this fantastic environment. <laughs>